At today's House Oversight Committee hearing, Representative Nancy Mace spoke about legislation pertaining to the Biden family's potential conflicts of interest. Mace slammed the response to the Hunter Biden laptop story during the run-up to the 2020 election, stating that the story was falsely labeled as disinformation and, quote, crackpot conservative conspiracy theories. Republicans have sought to make Hunter Biden's personal and professional controversies a centerpiece of their attacks on the president. They've pledged to set up committees to investigate Hunter Biden should they retake Congress. Recognize Representative Mace. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I rise in support of Ranking Member Comer's Resolution H.R. 1243 um, in this inquiry. Uh, looking for corruption uh, or pay to play or any of those things should be nonpartisan issues. And as someone who has worked with both sides of the aisle, I know that firsthand corruption is, is, uh, is neither on one side or the other. It is on both. And we should willingly be investigating this. And if for no other reason, uh, a, more, a most recent uh, podcast that featured Mark Zuckerberg from August 25th on the Joe Rogan experience. If for no other reason, his own admission that the FBI hid and told uh, social media companies like Facebook, according to Mark Zuckerberg, to reduce the propensity or the availability of articles related to Hunter Biden's laptop on social media in days leading up to the 2020 election. For that reason alone, we should be opening this inquiry. Um, you know, it's crazy to think that we're talking about the public interest and the public good. Well, subverting publicly available information um, is not for the public good. It's not in the public interest. I've heard today from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle talking about what President Biden has done for America, citing out the Inflation Reduction Act, for example, where economists on both sides of the aisle have stated that the Inflation Reduction Act isn't actually going to do anything for inflation. In fact, one quarter of 1%, uh, it would affect and it would improve inflation in about seven years. It is a ridiculous argument to say that really Build Back Better Light is an Inflation Reduction Act. It's not. Uh, I heard earlier today from my comments across the aisle talking about Roe v. Wade. Democrats, in fact, including President Biden, had the opportunity, and they talked about overturning Roe v. Wade uh, in the early 80s out of Joe Biden's own mouth. And looking at the comments by former Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, also talking about the flaws of Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade is extreme. That is not where the rest of the country is. And in fact, under Obama's administration, the Democrats had an opportunity to codify Roe v. Wade and decided not to. So this hysteria over Roe v. Wade is completely manufactured. Um, and you look at the rest of America, we're not putting our country first. And look at what's happened with our border. Over 4 million people have come across the border since uh, in the last year and a half since President Biden was sworn into office. And in fact, just last night, two kilograms of fentanyl was found in a police bust in the state of South Carolina. That amount of fentanyl could kill thousands of people. I heard comments from the left today about respecting those who serve. And that is important, but it's not respectful to the people of this country when we refuse to work together, even when we're investigating corruption, even when we're investigating something as just you know, minute as, according to media reports, over 150 financial transactions that were flagged uh, that were related to Hunter Biden and his associates. And the last for suspicious activity, and the last time I checked, suspicious activity means high dollar transactions that are highly unusual, that it could indicate some possible criminal activity like money, money laundering or tax evasion. Um, this level of suspicious activity, when you read through the 80,000 texts and email messages uh, in that laptop, understanding that now, as Ranking Member Comer rightly pointed out, two people have confirmed the big guy was Joe Biden. We saw uh, my colleague from Arizona showed the photo uh, and the email leading up to uh, some of what's happening in, when the, in the White House when Biden was vice president and what his son's business activity. These, these are things that we should be laser focused on. The American people want to see us work together uh, and to investigate some of these issues. I mean, just the shady business deals alone, um, you know, are all things that we should be investigating. But we know what happened. We know that mainstream media 
uh, and big tech silenced the average American's availability to that information in the days leading up to an election. They labeled these stories as disinformation. They labeled these stories as crackpot conservative conspiracy theories. They labeled these stories as Russian propaganda. And now we're only now learning that now some mainstream media is starting to write lengthy dossiers and reports on how it was all true. And now uh, Democrats and the left are scratching their heads as to why the American people are demanding more information because the American people have been lied to. They've been misled intentionally by big tech and by the mainstream media. So my Republican colleagues and I, are, we promise we'll get to the bottom of these answers regardless of our colleagues, whether they decide to help us or not on the other side of the aisle. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back. The time has expired. I now recognize Representative Jordan.